It's no surprise that there's so much hype around embedded systems engineers these days. They're blending together the most impressive parts of electrical and software engineering to architect a plethora of everyday engineering feats to benefit society, all while making a pretty healthy paycheck. But the broad specificity and demanding nature of embedded engineering is not for everyone. Let's take a deeper look and see if you'd fit in the technical and fast-paced career of embedded systems engineering. First, we need to get everyone up to speed. What is an embedded system? Freaking cool is what it is. No, but seriously, embedded systems are a culmination of hardware and software designed for a vast array of physical applications. This could be a standalone product, like a graphing calculator or part of a larger system, like the navigation and guidance methods for a satellite orbiting Earth. We have another embedded engineering video that details this well, but for now, let's take a look at that satellite as an example. The onboard embedded system processes data from sensors like gyroscopes and accelerometers to determine the satellite's position and orientation. From there, our embedded system sends signals to stimulate actuators like magnetic torquers and thrusters to correct its orientations and stay on path. In other words, the entire navigation system is embedded right into the satellite. But these systems aren't just found out in outer space. You can find them while checking out at your neighborhood Chipotle, driving your food home, and loading up the most recent Engineering Insiders video while you eat. Engineering the systems that enhance so much of our everyday lives sounds pretty cool, right? If you think so, then you might enjoy pursuing embedded systems. But there's a few more topics we really need to inspect before we can truly tell if you'd enjoy becoming an embedded systems engineer. First, we must understand the technically challenging reality of this career. After that, we'll discover what the day-to-day -day life of these engineers is really like, and then wrap everything up with our insider's list of pros and cons for the job. Let's get right into it. You don't need to look very hard to recognize the technical challenges of embedded systems. Starting from a hardware perspective, these engineers must have deep system level and component level understandings of the entire circuit. This means being able to think about each part of the circuit as a standalone unit with discrete ins and outs but also being able to dive into the nitty-gritty details of any circuit in the entire system. Looking toward the software and firmware, these engineers must have more in-depth understandings of the high-level design and architecture, but also the programming skills to develop each layer in the software stack. Down in the weeds, you can find these engineers designing everything from custom operating systems to the low-level assembly code that controls hardware and the APIs and interfaces that connect everything together. We know this already sounds like a tall order, but there's more. These engineers must also be versed in signal processing, security features, intricate testing methods, and dozens of other areas if they want to be full-fledged embedded systems engineers. We know that this can be intimidating to a young engineer and wants to remind you that no one learns all these things at once. It's always a step-by-step -step process where you continue to widen your skill set, just like all of the other engineering fields. So make sure to keep this bounty of technical challenges in mind as we near the end of the video, so you'll be able to truly know if you'd enjoy this career. Now that the tough stuff is over with, let's take a look at the day-to-day -day life of one of these engineers. But before we do that, we have to be honest with you. We've kept something from you, and now it's time to spill the beans. There are actually two main types of embedded engineers, embedded systems engineers and embedded software engineers. In general, the embedded systems engineers have more field experience, granting them enough expertise to fit into a systems engineer role for embedded projects. On the other hand, embedded software engineers focus more on just the software for the project. Although, we found that these two labels are somewhat meaningless. For example, some companies post openings for embedded software roles with a bunch of hardware and system tasks listed, and vice versa with embedded systems postings. So when we talk about embedded engineers throughout this video, just remember that there could be differences in tasking depending on the company and specific role. Anyways, let's talk about what to expect when entering the workforce as an embedded engineer. Seeing as they're basically half software and half electrical engineers, their tasks can fall anywhere in a wide range of possibilities. In the early stages of a project, they'll collaborate with their team to complete trade analyses that ultimately determine what technologies and resources they'll need to bring the project to life. Following this stage, you could find an embedded engineer developing and testing software for months on end, with the freedom of working from home. They'll frequently attend meetings and occasionally head into the office to check in with the hardware. If our engineer was instead working the hardware, you could find them digging through data sheets to find components that meet all design constraints and have optimal characteristics for the current project. 
These engineers come into the office and lab much more frequently as they're responsible for the physical hardware. They also work very closely with their software counterparts as the software actually controls all of the hardware. These engineers must work very closely to ensure everything between the two is compatible, optimized, and goes according to plan. Besides that, they'll have all of the normal engineering tasks like manipulating data in Excel, optimizing daily processes, regular team and company-wide meetings, and other similar things to be discussed in a later video. Okay, we hope we haven't lost you because now it's time to tie everything together with our insider pros and cons to see if you really would enjoy embedded engineering. On the bright side, talented embedded engineers are valued very highly by peers and companies, and this fact is reflected well in their sizable paychecks. This also means that they generally have great job security, as having a deep understanding of the various embedded technologies is a rare skill set. These engineers also sleep well knowing they have the ability to create entire smart computerized systems all on their own, a skill set not many engineers can claim. Continuing, these engineers find themselves in the best of both worlds, not just working software nor only hardware, but being able to switch it up and keep things fresh whenever they want without having to switch companies or careers. And maybe the coolest part is that embedded engineers have the benefit of going out in the world and experiencing the fruits of their labor. They can sit and enjoy the air control system that they designed for commercial airliners, fly around the drones they spent so many hours developing, or watch the robot they took part in designing learn to complete its first backflip. But of course, there's always a downside. As we discussed, it takes a lot of diverse and challenging engineering skills to flourish in this role. Getting to that point is no easy task, and it takes a specific type of person to work hard enough for long enough to get to that point. From our perspective, these engineers also experience tight deadlines more regularly than other engineering fields and can end up working long, high-pressure hours of overtime. Although this aspect may or may not be true, depending on the company culture and your specific role within the company. Lastly, embedded engineering heavily relies on squeezing every last ounce of optimization from a system. They have limited board space, memory, power, and time to accomplish the goals of their design. This means every single part of the software and hardware needs to be double and triple checked to ensure it is as optimal as possible, which can be a very tedious and extremely challenging requirement to meet. So now it's time to give your answer. Are you someone that loves a good challenge? wants to develop both hardware and software while solving complex real-time challenges and contribute to the development of cutting-edge technologies in diverse fields? If so, then you likely would enjoy a career as an embedded systems engineer. But how will you truly know if you don't try it out? Check out the resources in the description below to try embedded engineering today. Also, check out this video for a more well-rounded approach to embedded engineering. Happy engineering, everybody!